So this is a stock from an agave plant. I'm gonna to try to hollow it out a little bit in a section here and uh, see if I can boil water in it for purifying water, kind of an improvised container kind of thing. All right, so I got a little uh, container here. I'm gonna see how it does with water. Um, I got water with me, so I was just gonna use that for uh, the purposes of this experiment. But I'm gonna actually spend a little bit of time and see if I can find um, some water. So I was able to find a small pool of water here. There's not much here, but it's, uh, it's good for what I'm doing here. And if I was really hurting for water, uh, there's because of the way this is, it, there, it's a nice little downward slope and in kind of a rocky area. This is the, the natural runoff for this little um, spot of land here. And so uh, there's a good chance that there's more water, more pools like this, more puddles down that way further if I was needing it. But for now, I'm gonna use some of this. Um, before I put it in here, I'm gonna get things going for my fire because I'm, I'm not sure um, if I don't want my water soaking into this wood, so I'm worried that I'd lose a little bit of my water uh, as it sits here. So I'm going to get the fire going first, everything ready for that. And um, I've got matches and a fire steel out here. I always bring those in my pack. I'm going to see if I can get a fire going with a hand drill, um, but I don't have a whole lot of daylight left. So I want to make sure I leave time to, to hike out of here. I can see up there the stalks of some Sotal plants, which is my favorite material to work with for uh, bow drill fires. I'm sorry, for hand drill fires. There's another one over there. So I'm going to grab one of those and uh, see if I can get that going. Um, sometimes they, if they're dry enough, I can do it pretty quick. But if uh, if it's got too much moisture in it, it, it takes a while. And um, so I'll see. I might end up getting the fire going with a hand drill. Yeah, or I might just switch to my uh, fire steel to make it quicker because what I really want to do is test this situation out and I want to make sure I have uh, daylight for it. So I got my uh, stock from the Soto plant. I've been uh, cutting away at it. I got a very rough um, hand drill here with the, with the fireboard. Um, I'm going to fine tune that a little bit and get it ready. It, um, it feels fairly dry. I think it'll go okay. So I'm going to fine tune this hand drill up, I'm going to narrow it out a little bit, um, straighten it just a bit. I always like to have a slight taper with the bottom end being a little bit wider than the top, just slightly, and that keeps my uh, hands, hands on the drill a little bit. And then I'll get my notch started on the, uh, on the fireboard so it's ready to go. So you can see by the shadows on the cactus down there, the sun's getting a little low in the sky, still got some daylight left. but. Um, I want to get this going pretty quick, so. Time to head down to my little water puddle and collect some water. I got my little water container propped up on some rocks over here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here while I get the fire going so it's safe and out of the way so I don't knock it over and lose all my water. I'm hoping that this is dry enough to uh, get a fire going for me. Um, like I said, I'm kind of racing the sun here. My main priority is to test out that water container. So I'll try to get this uh, hand drill thing going if it doesn't work in the next little bit. If I can't get it going the next little bit, I'm going to have to switch to a more modern method so I can uh, make sure to test out that container. So this first time I, uh, the first time I put a drill into a fireboard like this, I don't even try to make fire with it because my notch isn't going to be perfect 
and the the hand drill and the fireboard aren't matched up yet so I don't waste too much energy on that one I'm mostly just trying to drill it so I take my time on it make sure I'm not burning out because that that first go is not going to make a fire I never count on it making a fire um, it's just part of the process of building the set Sometimes even the second attempt is like that, but this is actually looking fairly good. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and give it a go here. Um, now one thing I always do if it, if it starts showing signs that it's not going to work, like if the black, um, all well, that black dust is starting to burrow out around the sides and isn't falling into the notch like it should, um, then I then I'll stop and fix the notch. There's no sense wasting your energy when it's not um, if it's not going to go. But I always start with just some gentle motion here, just trying to warm up the set because there's no sense in, in going into that sprint mode um, until it's warm. The water is really hot right now, it's not quite boiling, and so it's not safe to drink. I need to get it boiling to be safe to drink. Um, but it's taking a long time. I'm trying to keep the fire stoked and things, but um, I don't know if I'm losing a lot of heat or if the uh, maybe the heat transfer isn't enough. Um, like I say, the water is hot, but it, it, uh, it's just taking a long time. So I don't have a whole lot of time with this because of the sun situation. I'm going to uh, make one last attempt at this and uh, I'm going to amp up the fire. Um, I've been kind of babying it a little bit, keep trying to keep the temperature low because I didn't want to burn the ends of, the, uh, of my container off and break it off. But um, I think we're past that now. So I'm going to build a big fire and see if that gets this thing to a boil. All right, so I'm going to have to try this again sometime and uh, revise my experiment. I'm not getting to the boiling point and I'm losing uh, water. I think it's I think it's absorbing in to other places or something. So while I still have enough light, I want to um, take this off the fire and kind of look at it and see if I can figure out what's going on. So as you can see, I have hardly any water in there. It's, I mean, it's, it's really hot. Um, and it looks like it's, you know, if you can see that right there, it's kind of boiling in spots. But like, yeah, that's really hot, but I don't know why I can't get it to a, a full boiling. All right. What do we got going on here? Yeah, hardly any water in there now. It smells good, nice and sweet agave flavored. What I think was going on is that it was sinking into the lower layers of this because it was absorbing into the bottom here. Um, not quite all the way to where it was dripping out onto the fire, but 
once it got close enough to the fire, I think it was evaporating out from there. Um, might be what's going on there. I'm trying to figure out something though because I want to come back out and try it again. But I need to be able to learn from what I did wrong here so I can uh, try to do it better next time. I'll have to think about this one. Obviously my little experiment did not work. Um, I, I think it has potential to work, but I, I'm not sure really what was going wrong. I'd like to give it another try, but I'm kind of wondering if that agave material just soaks up the, the water too much. Because uh, I was definitely losing water, and I couldn't see where I was losing it from, so... Um, and it wasn't coming out the bottom, like it wasn't, uh, it wasn't cracked or didn't burn all the way through. Um, I think it was just seeping into the, into the layers. So, maybe it won't work, but I, I think I can, I think I'll at least try again. Because what I'm looking for here is a way to get water for the short term. Um, as long as I have some water coming in, even if it's through weird methods like that, uh, sipping out of puddles after dropping the hot rocks in or um, boiling small amounts of water in little plant containers, that gets me by while I come up with a better solution. Um, like I, like uh, making a clay pot, like I showed in some of my other videos. Um, that's, that's a great way. Um, to do it but that takes a lot of time and uh and water isn't the kind of thing you can mess around with you know if i turn to the pack to, to the gear in my pack i've got plenty of ways to to get water and so being prepared is number one um, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't learn the skills necessary to survive if everything goes wrong because there are times when everything goes wrong so just trying to race the sun out of here I think I'll make it. Got a nice little sunset popping up over there though.